issues. Um, welcome to prayer and, and praise. Uh, last year, a group of women from the um, from Freedom Fellowship Church traveled to Alabama for the Save this in the City Conference. Um, and we had an amazing time in the presence of God and it led us to create a space called The Encounter. Um, and in this space, we um, have a scripture focus and uh, we have women who uh, come and they share what God has spoken to them about the scripture. We worship with some music um, going, just the music going, and we just get lost in the presence of God. And, and um, another sister will come up and she'll share what God has uh, given her, um, and then she'll pray. And then we get lost in the spirit again. And we just, it's a cycle, and then we leave. So we do that for an hour and we leave. We decided we needed to bring that experience um, back with us. Um, and we have, and the testimonies have been amazing. Um, from that experience so that's what we're gonna do today um, is, is we're gonna focus in on Isaiah chapter 61 and I'm gonna share and I'm gonna pray we're gonna worship with some music um, another sister will come and share and pray and then another sister will come and close us out with prayer sound good amen, amen. <clears throat> Isaiah 61 and I'll be reading and focusing in on verses 1 through 6 and it reads the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek he hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all who mourn to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. And they shall build the old waste, they shall raise up former desolations, and they shall, and they shall repair the waste cities, the desolations of many generations. And strangers shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the aliens shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers. But ye shall be named the priests of the Lord. Men, men shall call you the ministers of our God. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall ye boast yourselves. Isaiah 61 verses 1 through 6 shows us the, that powerful things happen when the Spirit of God is upon us. Isaiah says that the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. The English Standard Version says that the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. And with all the access to information that we have today, there's no shortage of news but this news that we have been anointed to bring to the poor to bring to the one who is pouring resources or spirit this news that we have been anointed to bring is good news and it's true and it's reliable and it's more important than what's being discussed on any other news station when the spirit of the Lord comes upon us it's because we have been anointed to do something to bind the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to, ca to captives to proclaim that the prison that used to bind them is now open when the Spirit of the Lord comes upon us, ex exchanges take place. In His presence, we can bring our ashes, our mourning, our faint spirit. And in its place, we receive beauty and gladness and garments of praise. In this exchange, an amazing thing happens. Righteousness takes root in us. We become oaks of righteousness planted by the Lord. We're planted by the Lord. An oak is a strong, is strong and able to withstand. And as a bonus, we're oaks planted by the Lord. And it reminds me of that song that says, I shall not, I shall not be moved, just like a tree that's planted by the water. I shall not be moved. The tree is planted beside the water. Depending on the atmosphere, the water may move or it may be still. But I shall not. I shall not be moved. And just like a, um, and life can be happening all around you, atmosphere at work or at home or at church or wherever else may be changing, but I shall not be moved. 
The Spirit of the Lord God is a, upon us is a powerful thing. He anoints us to reach those around us. He makes meaningful exchanges with us and He reveals and restores the places that have been ruined in our lives. The Word says that they shall build up always former desolations, repair the waste of cities, the desolations of many generations. Many. God is not limited in his ability to rebuild and restore. His power extends to many generations. He has the power to rebuild and redeem and restore beyond just what you're experiencing in this moment, but the ripples that have led you to your present experience. The spirit of the Lord God upon us is a powerful thing. Pray with me. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, God, that your spirit is upon us. God, we thank you, God, that you don't withhold yourself from us, Father God, but that you freely give, God. Your word says that if we draw near to you, God, that you'll draw near to us, Father God. God, that you desire, Father God, to draw near to us, God, and that in drawing near to us, God, you're appointing us and anointing us, Father God, to reach people, Father God, to change lives, God, through your spirit, Father. God, and so we pray, God, that you would open our eyes see the brokenhearted, God. God, that we would see the brokenhearted in our jobs, God, that we would see the brokenhearted, Father God, um, um, in our homes, Father God, in our family, Father God. God, that we would see the captives, God, that we would see those who are prisoners, Father God, to anxiety and depression, Father God, to life situations, Father God. God, that you would reveal them to us and give us boldness, Father God and assurance and confidence and courage, Father God, to be a change agent. Father, we just invite your presence, God. God, we can never have too much of you, God. So we invite your presence, Father God, to just continuously come upon us. God, we thank you for your love. And we thank you for your grace. And we thank you for your spirit. We thank you, God, for the places that you're rebuilding in our lives, Father God. God, we thank you, Father God, for the ways, God, that you're changing, God, generations, Father God. God, that you're redeeming, Father God, generations, God. God, that you're rebuilding, Father God, generations, Father. Not just us, Father God, but those connected to us. God, you're so amazing. You're so amazing. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. When you walk into the room, everything changes. The darkness starts to tremble at the light that you bring. And when you walk into the room, every heart starts burning and nothing matters more than just to sit here at your feet and worship you. We worship you. 